All right, Loop Early Adopters, I think I've found something interesting that might or might not be intentional in the product, but it certainly helps my use case. I covered duplicate pages uh, in my last video, or was it a couple of videos back anyway, uh, and that's a great feature. It means that we can start to create something of a page template experience in our Loop workspaces. But uh, I also discovered that you can um, copy a page and duplicate it into a new workspace. So let us let me just step through this and show you how we do it. Right, I've got a workspace. I'm going to try and bring a page that I quite like over into a new workspace. We can't do that today, um, except uh, here is the steps to do it. Uh, so maybe I like this page. Brew coffee options. Okay, so I'm going to copy a, uh, or maybe add this page as a, a new page into a workspace. So this is add to workspace. Now when we do this with other scenarios, we're just adding a link and the source page stays where it is. So that that is the case. I've got fourth coffee roastery and now I've uh, started Puteke Teke Cafe, which is after the uh, campaign for the New Zealand bird. Thank you, John Oliver, for your fun there. Um, Okay, so it is added that to the workspace. There it is. We're in the new workspace called Pool Teke Teke Cafe. Uh, and if you take a close look, it is just a link to a page. The source page is still in the workspace that uh, I... Well, I'm pretty sure there was a way to do this. Share somewhere up here. Shared locations. There we go. So if we use that area, it says the source... Oops, Let's try that again. The source for the um, page is Fourth Coffee Roastery. Uh, so that's okay, except I don't want to be using the same page and interrupting the content over in the Fourth Coffee Roastery. Let's just let's just add a couple of changes. Uh, changes here. Duh, duh, duh. All right. Go back to our source workspace and indeed. The changes are there. That's not what I want. I want to create a new page in a new workspace based on that. So let's get rid of that. Uh, go back over to our workspace. Pulteke Teke Cafe. It is a linked page. But here's the magic. I can duplicate a linked page <laughs> inside a workspace. Now, did the duplicate pa page feature is only intended to work inside the workspace where you've got the page, but it works on linked pages. Check this out. Duplicate. Mm-hmm. Happening. Okay, there it is. It's It looks the same, the same as the original page that we have in the other workspace. It's given it a, another name, so, you know, I'll, I'll tidy that up. Um, is it the same page as the one in our source? Let's do the same little thing again. I changed this page. All right, so this is the duplicate that I've created. Let's go back over to our source workspace. Fourth coffee. Oop, no, no. The changes I made did not change the source. So it is truly a new copy and it is based off the original, so it's got the same look and feel, it's got the same layout, referring to the same documents, um, it's got the same table. Right, not bad, not bad. Um, so use this as a way to bring across other template pages that you might want to use in a new workspace. I know it's a bit bitsy, but here's how you would do it. Maybe I quite like the... Um, the task page that I use for planning out and executing on the delivery of tasks. So here's a, a copy of a communications plan. I'll copy a link over to it. So first of all, add to workspace. Let's do that. Adding it to the pool Tiki Tiki Cafe. Dun, 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 dun. There it is. It's a link. Uh, duplicate the page. Dun, 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 dun. 
there's my hold music for you. <laughs> um, and there it is. It is a copy of the page. Copy of the page. Fantastic. Now, there's a last piece to this puzzle here. I don't want to have these linked pages. I just want the duplicates. I want to base my new workspace off this great work and this great structure that I had in uh, the page earlier. So um, this is actually perfectly safe. I can delete this linked page. Let's do that. Now the warning that we see here gives a whole lot of uh, warnings around, are you sure you want to delete this page? It is permanent. Uh, it will delete all the sub pages. Now that will be true of a real page, but a linked page, if I delete it, it's not going to affect the source. Let's do that. Delete the linked page. Right, so now we've just got the duplicate page that I started with. Let's go back over and check that workspace and make sure that I didn't delete any of that great content. No, nope, there it is, no problem. So that's how you tidy up those links. Remove them or delete them. And now you're left with some duplicate pages that you can reuse. So it is Bitsy, page by page, item by item. I'm sure there'll be a better way to do this in the future. But as a quick hack job, uh, maybe this could be useful to you. So there you go, loop early adopters. We're getting closer to general availability. Perhaps you're watching this after it has become generally available. But um, yeah, I'm excited to see what else you would do with loop. Um, we'll see you again soon. Bye for now.